Hi guys and welcome to my video. In this video I want to talk about the basics of what a model is. So what is a model? Well here is the symbol uh, that Roblox gives us, Roblox Studio. It's a, it's a blue, a yellow, and a pink square stacked like this, three of them. This is the symbol for a model. So you'll, you'll see if I select, um, for example, this, this bacon, you'll see under the properties it's, it calls it a model. So what are the properties of this model called a bacon? Well, here they are. But there's more to manipulating a model than just playing, selecting it and, and playing with the model itself. Usually models will contain a lot of different components or items. So if we open up the bacon, we'll see. There are a lot of parts, in this case mesh parts, um, and you can go even further. Each one of the, you know, the hand, for example, has some attachments and has um, uh, different constraints. So each model can contain a lot of different things, a lot of different things. So, um, for example, we have this um, car. We have, um, you know, we have effects, we have sounds, we have constraints and, and we also have things like animations and we have scripts so this uh, car is loaded with components many different components make up this one model so if I select the entire model then I can I can manipulate the whole thing everything that is under the model becomes uh, movable or scalable or rotatable things like that but you'll you'll notice that um, each model has all these components, and what uh, we as developers call these components, we call them children. So, um, the the parent of, for example, okay, um, we select this folder. The parent of the folder is the model. The R8 Etron is the parent. So you'll notice, so when I select animation, uh, well, sorry, yes, I select the folder, you'll notice that the parent of the folder is the R8 e-tron, right, the model. But if I go further, you'll notice the, the, the parent of this animation, driver seated, is the, is the animations folder. So technically, this would be the grandparent, but we don't use that too much. It's pretty much we have the parent, which is the model, and then the children, and so on and so forth. What are the children of this folder? What are the children of this folder? So on and so forth. So that's kind of what we refer to as, as um, parents and children. Um, obviously, the parents contain the children. The children are part of the parents. It's important to, to remember that, um, that uh, syntax or that verbiage when it comes, or those terms, when it comes to uh, developing or using models. Uh, just remember, children are, are inside the parents and, and uh, parents are, are uh, essentially housing the children, um, which, which makes sense. So let's see here. The, uh, let's select this mansion, for example. This model contains a lot of children, a lot of descendants, so to speak. You'll notice that some of the children of this, of this model are more models, you notice, right? You see that symbol, you, we clearly have four models contained within this bigger model, right? And you go even further, sometimes you'll find more models, more models, more models, and finally when you reach a specific um, model like this uh, dresser within the mansion, right? So it's like models within models, that can definitely be a thing. You'll notice finally you reach the parts. The, the children are these parts. And each part contains, in this case, a mesh. So the mesh is a child of the part, the part is a child of the dresser, so on and so forth. And the, the parent of them all, you could say, is the, is the whole model, the furnished mansion. But what's really cool about models, um, in this case, these are all free models. I obtained them for free. What you can do is you can go in and, and modify uh, individual models. So this dresser, for example, if I select the parts, I can go in and change the color of the dresser. Uh, let's do something a little bit brighter. You notice that? Um, let's see the material. Maybe we can do something outstanding like neon. So you can see that this this model becomes a little bit more of my own. And if I change it enough, it can end up um, 
it being very hard to tell that it ever came from the toolbox. So that that is a developer secret is being able to use free models and changing them um, enough so that they become yours. And uh, you know who really cares if it's a free model? It's a free model, and more power to you if no one can tell. It's pretty cool. So you can see uh, in this scenery here, I have a few models. There's a, there's a couple palm trees. There's the mansion. There's the car. There's the fountain, the bacon, and the doge. All of these are individual models. But the nature of models can be that almost anything, almost, can end up being a model. So for example, if I wanted to make this whole scene uh, a model, I just hit uh, Command G for group, and guess what? Everything here is now, so let me just do this, scene, right? Now we have, the whole thing is a model, oh, except for this creeper here. He he got a he snuck in and, and he's not part of the model. But anyways, you'll notice everything here is part of one model, okay? Until I decide to uh, hit Command U to ungroup that model into the the children model, and you'll notice um, they're all uh, free again. So that's kind of a, a little glimpse as to how models can work. It's you're, you're grouping a bunch of components together to your heart's desire. You're breaking it up, moving it around, all that sort of thing. Again, you can have models within models, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, essentially, the definition of a model is just a group of of items. You know, things that uh, constitute it. So again, you have the line of descendants going from ch uh, parent to child, parent to child, parent to child, child to parent, child to parent, child to parent. If you can remember that, uh, that can really help you when it comes to doing stuff like scripting, where a lot of times in the syntax or in the terms, when you're typing, um, uh, when you're scripting, you're using a, you know, find parent or find child, wait for child, things like that. It really helps with scripting when you understand these terms. Um, so that that pretty much sums it up. Uh, this is an introduction to models. Um, so and I'm giving you the very basics of, of what a model is and how you can work with them um, and, um, and change them to your heart's desire. So uh, I'll leave it at that, and I, I'd ask if you would please subscribe. Uh, go ahead and feel free to comment, like, uh, let me know uh, what kind of projects you're working on. Again, um, I started doing showcases of people's games, so if you have a game that preferably a game that you have created. Um, I may take requests for other games, whatever. Um, I would make a video about it and, uh, and, uh, and see and, and show the world what it is. So uh, thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, I, I appreciate your time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.